Hi dear students, in this special series on subject wise strategy, we are going to identify all the important topics that you must keep in mind before you start working on a subject. We will be looking at the trend for each subject and then mapping it to all the tasks in the app so that you can prepare better and score better. And in this video, we will look at the preparation strategy for endodontics. Now, endodontics is kind of easy and difficult both because you can expect newer questions, clinical scenarios and patient based questions with regards to pain and uh, diagnosis and treatment modality. So if your concepts are clear, if you are very sure of how to tackle a given kind of an ailment or a situation, then, then it's very simple. But you can have very confusing options in endo. So endo is the kind of subject that requires practice. Now which other subjects will you correlate with endo? So let's say dental anatomy, the root morphology coincides with uh, uh, endodontic anatomy. Then dental histology, the pulp and periapical uh, whole process with opath also coincides with endodontics. Then restoration of endodontically treated teeth is common between prostho and endo. And then surgical endodontics also belongs to perio and OS in terms of uh, treatment approach. So there is in, in short a lot of overlap of endo with other subjects but precisely the endodontic procedure from diagnosis to biomechanical preparation and access cavity and obturation and follow up all of that is, is precisely endo so that essence of endo has to be covered for your preparation and endo in itself is as important as conservative dentistry when it comes to weightage when it comes to the trend in neat mds exam so more or less seven questions are expected as you can see here. So sometimes you will see an on and off in the trend but on an average 28 marks is what you can score if you are correctly answering all your endo questions. Now here is a small exercise that we will do to understand which topics are important and try to focus on those topics while we are preparing. We have the questions from previous year NEET MDS on the right side and we have the relevant topics on the left side. So we will go through all the questions one by one, assign them to the specific topics and we will also look at a few explanations here and there. We will come up with a strategy as to how you should prepare endo and then we will take it from there. Right. So the first question is a case based and an image is attached of a 39 year old patient complaining of a discolored tooth and you have to elicit the type of fracture. Now fracture is also, traumatology is also seen in pediatric curriculum. So make sure that you are revising from both sides whenever trauma is in question. So this question is from traumatology, right? Then composition of GP, straightforward factual question, obturation, 17 years old male patient with procline anterior teeth reports to the dentist with history of trauma of the upper front teeth and the radiograph reveals so and so. So clinical and radiographic findings of class 5, so trauma. Then Kim's isthmus classification that is the morphology of uh, the canals. Then measurement of pulpal vasculature with laser doppler flowmetry that is diagnostic feature. We could have also classified that as equipment. Then prognosis is worst in case of, so coronal third fractures, this is again trauma. Now identification of the instrument and its use, this is an electric pulp tester for pulp vitality. Let's put that in materials and equipments and devices. Then means classification, orifices, that's the morphology of the tooth. Then we have a patient complaining, complaining of pain and tenderness on vertical percussion and diagnosis is asked for acute epical abscess. So that's periapical pathology. Then this is another question on tooth morphology. Uses of EDTA material. Solution used to check root canal calcification, so sodium hypochlorite again material, also used in cleaning shaping. 
लॉ ऑफ सिमेट्री ट्रूथ मॉर्फोलॉजी then which canal which of the following is used to enlarge canal opening for working lens so that's gates gliden drill then the wavelength of led light used in bleaching function of calcium hydroxide 25 year old patient complains of pain identify the condition acute apical abscess so that's periapical pathology then diagnosis of symptomatic apical periodontitis you will see a lot of these questions okay so if the patient has pain if the patient has no pain radiographically what are the findings percussion what is the finding vitality what are the findings so combination of these are important kind of questions now how do you tackle these kind of questions so you go through these explanations go through the detailed explanation first make a note of whatever is uh, important in that fragment look at the key concept understand how to tackle that question and you can also watch the video explanation for that multiple choice question now the video explanation will also allow you to understand how to eliminate options and that is very important trick when it comes to smart guessing in your exams right then the next question is which of the following is not a retrograde or a root end filling material so that's material based question then in excess cavity preparation if the cavity has not extended until the canal is clearly disclosed so this is all regarding mouse hole uh, appearance we have enough explanation on the mouse hole effect right then which of the following is most reliable material for cold vitality test carbon dioxide spray so we will classify that as diagnosis why is broach taken till the end of root canal for pulp expectation so that's cleaning and shaping question stain removal mechanism of carbamide peroxidase is bleaching question young lady to the clinic how will you manage the tooth with horizontal root fracture so that's trauma then a question on gates gliden drill second time question on gg drill another question on gp cones which type of tooth injury shows bleeding from gingival crevice subluxation that is trauma intrapalpal tissue pressure is high compared to other body compartments because of glycosaminoglycans so that's dental pulp pain from tooth is characterized by sharp pain with a delta fibers modality is used to measure the rate of blood flow doppler flow metry diagnosis electric pulp testing can give a false positive reaction to anxious patients that's a diagnostic question while making an excess opening for root canal so that's an excess cavity question in the first setting of root canal treatment in which of the cases should occlusal reduction be done so this is also related to excess cavity preparation patient reports with acute apical abscess drainage is established should the excess opening be kept open until the next appointment excess cavity question like you can see 2019 had three questions from excess cavity so it is not necessary that you know in a in a given exam you will have evenly distributed questions you may have a lot of repeat questions and you may have questions focusing on the same aspect of a treatment modality so this kind of variation is expected okay right then type of bacteria found in pulpitis is pulp question pathologies of pulp kemetal classification is important without a doubt so you must go through kim's classification watch the explanatory video too what will happen if mta is mixed for more than 4 minutes that's a material question patient complains of pain in tooth on taking hot food and pain subsides on cold so diagnosis is pulp necrosis obvious clinical sign in concussion that's trauma mid treatment flare up is most common in non vital teeth so that's pathologies of pulp and which of these instruments is not used in obturation you don't use barbed approaches okay so with regards to endo 
it's fair to say that all questions all topics are more or less important because pulp and periapical pathologies if you club them they they sum up to the same 6 to 7 number of average questions in the past exams and then instruments and materials are important trauma is important diagnosis is important access cavity is important so endo has limited number of topics but they are all important and there have been lesser questions or other no questions from surgical endodontics and post end core over the last few years so it is uh, relatively not as important but that doesn't mean that you are going to completely neglect those topics if you have the opportunity to practice definitely go for it because you can always expect surprises in your exam but definitely focus on what's uh, showing as a highlighted area in these topics now with this information how do you start your preparation so as we have identified all the important topics from endo the first thing is to start with tasks so tasks are same as the topics that you saw over there and you will have all the necessary data to prepare and take the exam so you can take your test after you've prepared thoroughly and for preparation you can go through the notes you can go through the videos and you can look at the illustrations make a note of that in your books right and keep it handy for revision so you can watch all the video explanations for mcqs video explanations for these bytes for these notes right you can modify the way it looks in your app and then finish all the tasks and now i will tell you how to maximize your preparation with meritus app now there are five things to keep in mind when you start your preparation for any subject at any given point of time number 1 is to start with tasks like i said tasks are the building blocks they are your foundation and fundamental for any subject you need to start preparing for the task with the workbook you you must look at the video if you have any doubts regarding the topic and then practice questions and then you can take the test now whenever you are taking a test or practicing questions each question comes with the answer explanation and key concept the explanation will be elaborate it will tell you everything that you need to know about the topic it is a good source of taking down notes because a lot of additional questions can be asked from the existing explanations right and if you are well versed with the topic you can just look at the key concept and reinforce the topic in your mind additionally a lot of questions also come with multiple choice question videos which are explanatory videos they are going to talk about how to eliminate options how to strategically focus on the question and additional knowledge that comes with the topic so your first aim should be to complete all these tasks for a given subject and then move on to the next thing that is q bank now q bank or question bank is a collection of high yield extensive questions they are clubbed together in uh, topics they are clubbed together chapter wise and you will have more hands on experience on difficult and extensive preparation on these questions again they will come with explanatory videos explanations and key concepts so once your tasks and q bank for a given subject are complete you are good to appear for the weekly checkpoint tests now the tests are of two types in the app one is the weekly checkpoint test and self paced test I'll tell you about the weekly checkpoint test first. So suppose if you are preparing one subject over the week, then at the end of the week you will have a test which is going to focus on that specific subject plus the subjects that were previously prepared, right? So that kind of snowballs the entire revision strategy. You will have a repeated encounter of multiple subjects from time to time. So you do not forget. It's easier to keep these. topics in mind when you constantly see them so the revision is reinforced plus you also get personalized ai recommendations right so at the end of your test based on your performance you will get how many questions you answered what was the score how much was the negative marking where are you lacking what are your stronger points and then it will tell you how much time to dedicate for a revision of your weaker subjects so with this strategy you will be able to focus on specific areas that are your weaknesses now that is an exceptional feature of meritus app and the next set of test is self paced test which you can take at any given point of time these are subject wise test you can also have cumulative tests multiple recall questions also incorporated in form of test and towards the end of your preparation phase you will have a lot of volatile factual high yield questions 
uh, in form of final strokes which are again specialized tests to be able to remember these topics clearly before the exam. Now once you come closer towards the end of your preparation, you will have access to this special feature of the app called Marathon. This is activated towards the end of your preparation where you will have 3500 plus high yield questions. High yield questions meaning they have the chances to uh, be seen in the exam because either they are based on recall questions or because they are based on important concepts that are repeatedly seen in the exam. So when you practice these 3500 plus questions, you will also enter an all India competition where you will get a fair idea as to how your performance is with comparison to your colleague. It's a great boost of confidence if you take it at the right time. And lastly, we have the all famous national mocks, which is a pan India or all India nationwide uh, simulation of NEET MDS exam. We conduct them uh, towards the end of your preparation in a few months to go. And every weekend you will have access to this special test. You will see a lot of new questions in national mocks, uh, which are based on important topics. So do not miss national mocks because it gives you a good hands-on experience of the exam. It gives you an idea of time management because this is exactly according to need pattern. That is 240 questions and three hours with negative marking. So you, you kind of get a very fair and square idea of your performance because this is again an all India competitive uh, mock exam and you will get personalized AI recommendations here as well. Now they are more important for uh, national mocks too because uh, towards the end when you are revising you will not know which subject to pick up at what time and your performance in the national mock will be assessed thoroughly and you will get your AI recommendations which will tell you which subjects to revise. So make sure that you are making use of all of these features in the app. Now, apart from that, if there is any query that you have while solving your questions, if you have any doubts regarding any topics, you can always contact the faculty on the WhatsApp group. We are always here to help you. And I hope with this in mind, you'll be able to channelize all your preparation strategy in the right direction. And I hope we'll be able to help you achieve your dream seat in MDS. Thank you so much and good luck from Team Meritors.